Hi everyone, this is Penny with In Stitches with Penny. Today I have a new mask pattern. A lot of states have mandated masks. They have here in Colorado. And you know, that's a whole nother issue whether we're mask or not mask. But I'm here to show you how to sew one. I already showed you at one point how to do the Olsen mask. This is, you know, a pretty popular mask. Um, but I found I needed more space to breathe and this one provided that. So you can kind of tell here that it's got some space. And as I was watching other videos, I decided to kind of create my own method, and that's what I want to show you. I want to show you a, a very simple method. This doesn't take that long to make, so I urge you to, you know, find some really soft cotton. I found some of the quilting cottons were just kind of itchy, and even my granddaughter said, you know, Nana, this one's itchy. So I just went to Joanne's, found something that was soft, just go through and feel and see, you know, and it's summer, so it's hot and um, you don't really, I don't wear it outside, but there's stores that I can't get into unless I wear it. So I'm gonna show you um, how to make the 3D mask. Here are the supplies you're gonna need. You're gonna need some fabric. This is a 10 and a half by seven inch pattern. So you can, depending on your print, you can put it this way or you can run it this way. And I'll show you that in a minute. You need some pins, perhaps. Sometimes I use, oh wait, <laughs> my husband thinks that's pretty funny. I need some thread, of course, for your sewing machine. I use a rotary cutter, you can definitely use scissors, and then I use this rope-like uh, elastic that I really like. I got this at Atwood, I believe it's from Piqua, Ohio. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna pull this fabric out and just kind of figure out where you want the center of your mask. You know, if you want a certain flower, because right here, right along here, won't have any uh, cuts or folds or anything. The rest of this does fold in at the corners, from corner to corner. So I'll kind of do a little demonstration with the pattern. So this part right here is where you want to line it up with your fabric, if you want to. If not, that's okay. Feel free to go either way. I just thought this was cute. I thought my granddaughter might like this. So let's see, let's put that yellow flower and we're gonna cut two. All right, so. We'll just put that in there. And now we will cut this out. Okay, and now we're done. Sometimes this is when you know you need a new new blade. Okay, so now we're done cutting this out. We're gonna put right sides together. So we're gonna flip this around. We're gonna put right sides together, just like that. Here, this is gonna be my front. So next, I'm going to stitch around the whole space here. I'm gonna start about right here, and I'm gonna come down, and I'm gonna stitch all the way around. I'm gonna come back around, and I'm gonna leave this open. It's gonna be open from here to here on this side, not on the bottom if it, as I've seen from some videos, because it just shows. This way it'll be all tucked inside and no one will see this part. So I'm gonna go to the sewing machine, 
and stitch around and I'll be right back. All right, so I've stitched all the way around. I'm just gonna cut off my threads here, just like that. And now I'm gonna cut the corners. Be sure not to cut into the stitching. Just all the way around. just like that. All right, now you can go ahead and open this up if you find it's easier and just iron that down. And sometimes I do that just to just so it'll lay flatter. But not not required. It is kind of nice to do that here on the edge. And this is where I'm going to pull it through. And you can do it on the edges too. We'll just go ahead and start pulling this through. And then with your fingers, just go in and pull out the corners on all six corners. Okay, just like that. And if you miss some, just come back in there. So now you have this hexagon shape. And we're going to iron it down. So all everything looks nice and crisp. And right here, just be sure to fold that in. Okay, now we're ready to just iron this flat. Okay, so you'll see that I stitched right here. Another place I want to top stitch is down along here, the top and the bottom. So I'm gonna take it to the sewing machine. I'm not gonna go all the way around. You can go all the way around if you want, but I find this is, this is plenty. All right, so I stitched that down. Now we're gonna cut the, the corners here, the, the threads. Believe it or not, we're almost done. Okay, so this is the front. I'm gonna turn it backwards here. And I wanna make sure the butterflies are going in the right direction. So here at the corners is where we're going to turn this up. Right there at the corner. You don't have to measure it. Just make sure you're at the corner and go ahead and iron that down. And now, same thing. Now I'm going to take it back to the sewing machine and I'm going to stitch from here to here and from here to here. All right, so it looks like an envelope here, just like that. Let's cut off our threads again. Let's give it a good press. So see, this is going to be the front. And what I like to do is pull it out and make sure this is up 
And same with that. So both sides go out. Okay, just like that. Now here's the tricky part. It's not really tricky. It's just once you figure it out, it's not hard. It was hard for me to write the instructions, so that's why I did the video. So I come down to about an inch, and halfway through here, I'm going to fit my finger and then go at a 90 degree angle so the end meets this line. So let me do that again. Just come down, you don't have to be exact, just come down an inch, and then a 90 degree angle. So you can kind of see this um, 90 degree triangle. Okay, now we're gonna do that to the other, to this side. And just match it up, just put your finger there, bring this over, so there's like a line, an imaginary line that goes through there. And you want your pins to go this direction from the inside of the mask out. Okay, now the next step is to cut two, you know, let's do 10 inches. I find that when this washes, the, it, it shrinks a little bit. So I'm gonna cut two 10 inch pieces here. All right, here's my two 10 inch pieces and I'm just gonna tie a knot. Just like that. And then just carefully pull it in to where you don't have a lot of excess here, but it's tight. Maybe a half inch. Okay, so it's like that. Now turn this around. and just pull all this up, just like that. See how I'm covering this line? That's, that line is pretty much my fold line. And I've got my elastic right here. And now I'm going to pin that. And I'm gonna do one stitch from here all the way down. So you don't have any crazy pivoting or anything like that. Okay, so let's do this again. Come down about an inch. And you can see that triangle right there. Go ahead and pin that. That's what creates your 3D. See? Okay, we're gonna do that same thing on this other side. Find the corner where you pivoted over the, on that side. We're gonna do the same thing on this side. Pin from the inside of the mask to the outside. Ow, but don't poke yourself. Okay, now we're going to tie our elastic. I love this elastic, this is so soft. Not that I wanna wear a mask all the time, so don't, but you can't go into a store without it. This is the best option. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing. Fold this over. Just like that. And pin. and you're gonna make one stitch from here down to here. And then we're done. And we're all done.